Hey guys, Sean here from Rollback Productions, back with New Jersey Coasters, and my friend Matt, and today we're at Disney's Animal Kingdom. I think it's Jason's first visit, or? Second visit, first visit in 17 years. Um, yeah, so Jason doesn't remember anything about this place at all. We're gonna visit all four parks today, starting off here, because this, it's the least popular out of four, so um, we're gonna get on the uh, few attractions that we care about here, and then move along to the next park. Yeah, just go to because my friend Jason only has one day down here at Disney, we decided to get uh, Genie Plus. However, it wasn't available for the multiple park option. You couldn't get Genie Plus for all four of the parks just now. So we were only able to buy it for Hollywood Studios, but we're gonna skip some lines today there, I guess. Uh, it, it's gonna be really, really busy. Everest does a full queue here, spilling out onto the midway. And we have the single rider line. We'll probably be on this in less than a half an hour. If we're lucky, because it's still full. <laughs> you ready up there, Jason? Race for race for impact. Oh. <laughs> fly past the Yeti at the end, and you're going so fast past it that you don't notice it. The line for Expedition Everest goes all the way up past there. There's a cast member holding a sign. It's got a 95 
minute standby. That's insane. We waited probably about 30 minutes in the single rider line, maybe. We're about to meet up with Rob Alvey from Theme Park Review over at Yak and Yeti. It's one of the restaurants here I've never tried before. Very excited. I love trying new restaurants and stuff. Jason got the teriyaki chicken here. I got the chicken lo mein. And you got what? Korean beef. Korean beef. And, uh, hey, Rob. How's it going over there? <laughs> he also got the chicken lo mein. I, I did. You have very good, uh... Uh, very, very good decision making because the chicken lo mein kicks ass. <laughs> Sweet. We just finished up our meal at Yak and Yeti. That was really delicious. That was definitely the best theme park meal I've ever had before. <laughs> We're here at TTC. We're uh, going to cross the Seven Seas Lagoon and check out Magic Kingdom for a little while with Jason. Jason, what are you most excited for here at Magic Kingdom today? To see the castle. That is honestly not a bad thing to be too excited for. <laughs> Part, the park's going to be very busy. We were not able to uh, acquire Lightning Lane or GD Plus for us. It cost $300 to come here in two days. What? <laughs> Jason, Jason's totally uh, just in his element right now, nerding out about everything. <laughs> we're going into Magic Kingdom. I don't think we're going to get too much done here currently because there is just a lot of people. Oh, wow, we just ran into one of my major inspirations. It's Justin Scarred. Wait, hold on. Look at the thing. Oh, it's all right. I can flip it. Okay, that's all right. We can flip it. <laughs> We're having great weather. Were you here on the weekend? No, it was raining, right? And it was like horrible and cold, and it's like I brought the weather from California. Like, what's happening here? <laughs> now finally the sun is out, but still breezy enough for a jacket. Ah, just the way I like it. It's so beautiful out today. It's perfect out You're not going to get anything done, though, because it's completely packed. Well, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. I like it that way. No, yeah. I don't. I don't. I don't like it that way. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for saying hi, Justin. Oh, no problem, man. We are inside the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna head over to Tron in just a minute. Oh my God, what? So, um, this is the line for Space Mountain. Where does it end? All the way back there, and then it goes like all the way. Switchback set up outside the entrance too. Oh my goodness. This is by far the busiest that I've ever seen Magic Kingdom. Wow. Over here by Tron, unfortunately we got to the park after 1 p.m. so we weren't able to secure a free virtual queue and all of the single lightning lanes were sold out for today. It's very, very busy here at Magic Kingdom, President's Day. We're now at Hollywood Studios. It was the only park we were able to secure Genie Plus for. All the other ones were sold out. Well, the multiple park ones were sold out, so this was the best like deal for us, if that makes any sense. We have a reservation for Tower of Ter uh, Terror. I'm not really sure what else we're gonna be able to get on today. We met up with my friend Dane in here. He works over at Slinky Dog, walking us around. We picked, uh, we picked the wrong time to bring Jason into the parks for the first time in a while. There's way, way too many people here. <laughs> We got ourselves some food here at the Baseline Tap House, Bavarian pretzels, and what is that, Jason? Ginger ale with grenadine, so Shirley Temple. Oh, Shirley Temple. Uh, Matt got himself a beer, and I got myself a California sunset. We're doing one of the last attractions that I actually haven't experienced here at Hollywood Studios. You been in it? No, I haven't. Yeah, this is uh, one of Jim Henson's, it is actually, I think Jim Henson's this, this, last, this project last project before he died, died in 1989. Back in 1989, as Sean was saying in other misdone clips, um, Muppets, uh, Jim Henson Company was being acquired by Disney and the family didn't want it to happen. But at the time, Jim Henson was contracted to make an experience for Disney World and actually they didn't buy the company until after he died when his family sold the estate. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, yeah that California sunset hit a little harder than I expected, so Jason had to explain that one for me. <laughs> Look at the guy in the 
goofy mask. That's not a man. Sorry, lady. <laughs> For the comfort and safety of everyone around you, please no flash photography, video recording, or cell phone usage during the show. And now, I'd like to introduce you to the guys who invented puppet vision, and they can show you some of their. We just did Muppet Vision 3D. I've never done that attraction before. It was actually a lot of fun. I love the 3D that Disney does. They, they do a really good job with uh, making it, it work well with the glasses. Um, but yeah, A lot of good like actual physical props, including like maybe 20 animatronics. Because yeah. there's all the penguins, there's Statler and Wardoff. Good. Good job. For the being built in the 80s, good job. Yeah, I really enjoy that. It's kind of hard with uh, regular glasses, with the 3D glasses on, over top of it. But 3D doesn't work as well. But uh, for someone like me, it worked well for most of uh, most of the attraction. How about you? Did you enjoy it? Is it cool? Yeah, give me a little bit of a headache. That yeah, right. yeah. Like I said, he, has, he wears glasses, so sometimes with the 3D glasses on top of your regular glasses, it's not as easy to enjoy. You just don't get that full. You don't get that full 3D effect as you would normally. Star Tours has almost a full view. We just popped out of Star Tours with our uh, Genie Plus reservation. It was really fun. I, I actually have already had the sequences that we got before, which is crazy because there's so many different sequences you could get. Our next stop is going to be down over there. Hollywood Tower of Terror. We have a lightning lane. The new secret bath bathrooms are back here by Rock and Roller Coaster because it's been closed for so long. We're going to get my friends Jason and Matt on Tower of Terror for their first ever rides. seatbelt on this drop tower ride. We don't get air time, that's why. It's literally just moving fast enough to speed up. Stormy night long ago, five people stepped through the door of an elevator and held a nightmare. That door is opening once again, and this time, it's opening for you. <laughs> it's so good. It's so fun. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Every time I ride this, I can't stop. We just rode Tower of Terror with my friend Matt for the first time. How was it? That was good. I actually enjoyed that. I don't know why I was so scared for it. Yeah, because uh, it feels like, a, a, it looks like a regular drop ride, but it's more than just that. It is. You liked it, good. I thought it was surprising. What I'm did happy. you think of it? Did you like oh, it? Oh, it's good, yeah. Isn't that one of the best dark rides? The, the drop technology. Dark. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just such a good, uh, cool technology. Look at all the people. Oh, oh my god, that's insane. It's starting to get a little dark out over here. Tons of people heading back. I think it's for Fantasmic. Is that where all these people are going? We're here at the transfer station. We're gonna get on the Skyliner over to Epcot and we're gonna have some fun over there for a little bit. We have a boarding group, of course, for Guardians now. I'm finally going to Epcot. I mean, I will have hit all three right. parks. We just hopped off the Skyliner here at International Gateway, which can only mean one thing. It's Epcot time. It's Epcot. This is bad. <laughs> Jason's been looking for this windbreaker all day. Inside Club Cool now. Have Jason try some Beverly. I need I need this video. We got our uh, seasonal annual pass holder Hey Hey magnet, and Jason's gonna try Beverly. He's trying Beverly too. It's so good. You're gonna love it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jason Moore. I actually like it. <laughs> he says he loves it. I'm still trying to figure out I what like he's doing. What? That's what he said. I think he's secretly Italian. That's what he said. He is Italian. He's Italian. It's actually good. Ew. No, it's not. You're, you're so wrong, Jason. You want good? Can we get this in the U.S.? You really like Beverly? Yeah. How about try a uh, Sprite and the Royal uh, Watermelon together, like half and half? No, no. First, we're going to try. Wait, I have a light you back. Jason just drank like five cups of Beverly. It was good. What? It's like it's like non-alcoholic gin but sparkle. It's great. I think you're on crack. I drink food. Journey into imagination only had about a five minute wait, so we're gonna get Jason on that for his first time. Are you ready to meet Figment? I'm ready to meet Eric Idol. <laughs> On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Oh, oh, can I go too? Absolutely not. Uh, this is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. What? This is odd. And um, hello? Hello? Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> now I've completely lost my train of thought. No, you haven't. It's over here. All aboard. <laughs> Next stop, imagination. For every sound.
profile there in a calm, scientific, frequent free manner, the things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. But let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, all together, if you would please read line three. <laughs> You can see things differently. <laughs> sure, you can see with your eyes, but imagine what you can see if you used your imagination. Follow the bouncing figment. One spark of light can light your fancy. Your mind sees more than what your eyes see. Your sense of sight can make your fancy fly. off a journey to imagination for Jason's first ever ride. What'd you think? It's so much better than Rise. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> About to get on Guardians of the Galaxy for Jason's first ever experience. I'm so excited to see what he thinks of it. Huge shout out to Theme Park Review. 
Rob Balvey, he hooked us up with an individual lightning lane for all three of us. He's not even here right now. He went to go see like a, a show. <laughs> so we're over here and uh, we're about to get on this thing. I'm so excited. I love Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't think you're ready for this, Jason. I think I am. I don't know. I've been on this ride probably like five or six times already, and I still don't think I'm actually ready for it. Welcome to 
audience of the galaxy. We have no room in our ship for these new guards. Drax, it's an honorary title. They're not coming with us. I see. It was meaningless. Only <laughs> welcome to the Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> Where's that cage host? <laughs> Is this right, Dre? <laughs> oh, we, we finally got Conga. That's the song yes. I've been waiting for. I have now gotten every song that they offer here on the Shride, I think. Maybe except for one. I don't know. There's like five or six different songs, but I feel like we've got them all now. And Kanga is definitely my favorite one that they offer. It, it's just such an incredible experience. It's worth the wait. Shouts out to Rob Alvey for um, getting us on this today, because we obviously wouldn't have been able to get a virtual queue or anything. I, I can't believe... <laughs> what, a, what a crazy experience, man. Don't you love this ride? Absolutely. <laughs> it's it's almost worth it just to come here every day first, just to get a reservation to ride this, because I, I can't imagine coming here and not being able to get on this ride. It's just that good. Like, Tron, you can miss. You know, there's a lot of other rides that you can miss. But this one, don't miss this ride if you come to Epcot. We just missed the nighttime spectacular here at Epcot. Unfortunately, we were on Guardians while it was going on, but we have the little fountain show they have afterwards. Just keep these on. It's really beautiful. Epcot closed about 15 minutes ago, um, so everybody's leaving toward the front entrance. However, we have to go back to Hollywood Studios because our car is parked over there. <laughs> so we have to take that. And we're going to go over to Magic Kingdom for the last hour or so. Out here behind International Gateway, they have a whole bunch of hotel resorts. My friend Matt actually works here at the uh, Yacht and Beach Club. But we're here on this dock and they have a couple of friendship boat options to either go to Epcot or Hollywood Studios. And we're going to Hollywood Studios because when we left Epcot, the Skyliner line was huge. And not only was the Skyliner line huge, but also they stopped running buses back to Hollywood Studios, which is where our car is at. So we're gonna have to get our car from Hollywood Studios and move it back to Ticketing and Transportation Center and then go into Magic Kingdom for the last like 45 minutes of the day. I don't know how long we're gonna have there. Well, we're leaving Hollywood Studios now in our car, but unfortunately the Magic Kingdom closes in about 40 minutes or so. And we're still about 10 minutes away from TTC. So I'm thinking we're gonna get into Magic Kingdom like 15 or 20 minutes before it closes. And we'll just have to see how this goes. I can't believe we're back at Magic Kingdom again. This is like the second or third time today. Guys, we're the only people who are going to Magic Kingdom this late at night. Who would have thought? <laughs> it's 10.30. Might be better for space then. Oh, we have to be very no, strategic right now. We, the express monorail is stopped. Magic Kingdom closes in about 10 minutes and 30 seconds or so. And we're on the resort monorail because the express monorail stopped running. They're only running it to get people out. Yep, and uh, we're only about a couple minutes away, so we'll be there. We are inside Magic Kingdom, it's 10.59. We don't have time to make it to any attractions before the park closes, so, oh well. <laughs> we're gonna walk back to Tron so Jason can get some photographs. I come here often enough, so it's not that big of a deal. We're not getting on anything today here at Magic Kingdom. So we'll, we'll come back in a couple days, and we'll get on some of our, some of our favorites here. This is essentially what we're here for. We can't ride it, but we're gonna get some, get some shots of it at night. It's a very beautiful ride. Sorry, Jason, you couldn't get on this today. I'm yeah. gonna try and get a shot like right here, like you did. Yeah. I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll, hey, Sean, in the future, I'm gonna cut your footage. <laughs> yeah. Told you, Jason. <laughs> Last train on uh, Tron just got sent out. Jason got some good shots. Tried. <laughs> it's a shame we weren't able to get on this today, but we will definitely come back. To it's a shame we weren't able to get on this today, but we'll definitely come back in the near future and Jason will get the coaster credit. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
I just noticed something that's probably not meant to be seen from the from part of the castle. There's a, a little like blinking green light right mm -hmm. right there. Oh yeah. That's definitely not meant to be seen from out here. Probably not. We're finishing up our day here at Disney World. It was so much fun. It was Jason's first time here in how many years? 17, 17 years. And we didn't get on very much. We only got on probably a handful of attractions. I'm fine with that. But here. we had such a great time. And, and Jason had a great time too, right? Yes. We met we met uh, Justin Scard, Rob Alvey, um, Neil Thurman I already knew. He was the park president at Busch Gardens Tampa. I don't think I mentioned that. I ran into him here today. But thank you guys so much for watching us today. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.